Wow, how much uh, HP does this thing have? When an enemy is in dire situation, it may try to bargain for its life, enabling to negotiate with it. Uh, a shadow's personality determines how likely it is to beg. Timid shadows are more likely to beg, while irrita irritable shadows won't beg very often. Um, lend me your power. Oh, I live in the sea of the human heart. I'm Jack O'Lantern. Oh, that's it? He didn't like even... Nice. I am thou, trophy earned. Wow. I didn't realize even Shadow back for your lives. Uh, that's actually kind of surprising. They does have emotions too, you know? Of course, they'll be afraid if you corner them like that. It might be uh, worth uh, purposely creating such situations to get them begging for their lives. Uh, the shadow seems to have different attitudes too. If we take advantage of that, negotiations may go more smoothly. I try to let you know what kind of answers the shadows want to hear depending on their personality. Enemy shadows have personalities that determine the kinds of answers they like to hear. Consi consideration of these personalities is vital to negotiation success. Upbeat shadows like jokey answers, but dislike serious or vague ones. Timid shadows like kind answers, but dislike vague or jokey ones. Irritable shadows like serious answers, but dislike vague or kind ones. Gloomy shadows like vague answers, but dislike... Serialist. You can check a shadow's personality when selecting it on the hold up screen by checking the analysis somewhere. What the hell is happening? I'm not. I have the controller with one hand right now and I can't even press. Like, why? So I like. touch it a little. I can feel it. Is it maybe the game or something? Because I played other games before and this didn't happen. Breeze ring. This accessory seems to have some special power, but I'll bet it'll be useful somehow. Certain accessories come attached with a skill. When a party member equips such an accessory, they will be able to use that skill. To view the details of a... Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, that controller is like four weeks old, three weeks old, and has like a hundred hours on it or something. That's kind of sad. Okay. Uh, a ring charged by the wind. Okay, that, that means someone else could use Garo, right? I have something. of the weight of the controller or something and I'm holding it no I'm shaking it right now and nothing is happening I can see it oh I think I need to buy a new controller right because I don't want to send everything back Okay, let's open the door. Yeah, perfect. 
Nice. Man, looks like it's pre in a pretty bad shape. Uh, I don't think we're going any further this way. Should we check somewhere else? Wait, look up there. What about it? Are we throwing a rope over that and climbing it? Phantom thieves do things a bit more stylishly than that. And I know just what'll do the trick. Okay. Tell us more. Good. Seems like it fits properly. Uh, what do you strap onto me? That's just a little something I've been working on in secret. The grappling hook lets you zip to hard to reach locations in a flash. You'll see what I'm talking about when you test it out. Go ahead, give it a try. Sure. Uh. Okay. You can use your grappling hook to access certain locations uh, in a palace when you'll find hidden pathways or treasure caches. As you're near that location where you can use it, your left hand will glow blue. When you can launch the hook, your hand will begin to flash. Your third eye will help you locate suitable grappling hook targets. Be sure to check out various positions to make best use of the hook. It's somewhere. You better hang on. Amazing. Nice going. It's somewhere. Well. Okay. What about the guys on top? Look, a tree. Oh. Duty ghastly gear. Okay, what is this about? Just like uh, a protector or something. Equipment. Dusty feudal design. Really? Why is it so low? All of them are except like the one I bought, huh? That's why it was so expensive. Hey. Yo, that guy looks like bad news. Yeah, he does look pretty tough. Not only that, but it seems like he's more aware of his environment than the others. We'd better proceed with caution. I'll reveal your true form. Savage enemies have red auras as they roam around palaces. These enemies tend to be at a higher level than the shadows around them. In order to negotiate with the you will need to inflict damage until it changes its fighting stance. At this point, you can initiate a hold-up. If you are unable to defeat a savage enemy, you can always run away by pressing L2. Uh, then choose escape in the order menu. I don't see a weakness. Let's go. Hmm. Well, resist actually. Ah, 
Ouch. I don't see a weakness. Huh. Really? Wow, that was. Well, lend me your power. Huh? Oh, it's so hot. I'm burning up in here. But what if I just think of this uh, as a hot bath? Ah, what did you want to say, Sonny? Stay focused. <laughs> You're a bit too weak for me, Sonny. Get stronger and take this Sufi heavy armor. How's that? You know, this belonged to my late wife, but I want uh, you yeah, to have it. Bye. You really think you'd actually stand a chance against King Kamoshida? Yeah! Victory! All right. Uh skill. Is there a safe room around here? Feel it. The cognition here is weak. There may be a safe room nearby. Nice. Can now quick travel to the third floor. This should make a good base. We can resume infiltration from here. Hey! Who would have guessed all the books here uh, would be about Kamoshida? Hmm. The enemies around here seem awfully tough. Let's all be careful, all right? Yeah. I'll just add this. Mm. I'll just add this. I mean Plus acting formula resource 50 HP to one ally. In safe places resource 20 HP. I mean, I am in a safe place. Do I need to save travel outside? Castle gate? Maybe I should need to return to the castle gate to use it? I get some purpose. It's uh, by the way, Persona. Uh, what can this guy do? Fire and what is Raccoon? 